Hey everyone, Asha from Pandemonium. So that was Asha. She came to visit when I was at the other campsite, the temporary one before Parker. Um, so she's supposed to come over and uh, at some point and uh, and film me for her channel, which that'll be pretty awesome. If you don't know who she is, she's Aja with Pandemonium, and uh, uh, she has a, has, a, has a really big channel. You can go check her out, uh, and she does a lot of great photography. Yeah. Yeah. So go check her out. Now, uh, I asked for Q&A questions a while back, um, and so I thought I would... Uh, uh, answer the few questions that I had uh, before I get to those questions um, I have had a couple of people ask about contacting me or emailing me or they tried to don't try to email me if you happen to find something for me because I'm really cut back on my email usage um, the best way to contact me is if you go to my teardrop RV travels Facebook page just look look down in the in the description and you'll see a link to the Facebook page send me a message from that page. Just go to the Teardrop RV Travels page and click send message and it's just a, basically a Facebook Messenger thing uh, and I will get that no problem. So if you want to contact me, you got any questions or anything like that, uh, send it to me uh, through the uh, Facebook page, okay? Uh, now on to the Q&A. Uh, mostly the Q&A is, again, is, as I said, has been about my, uh, my camper and building it and uh, um, and where I got the parts that I got. So um, the windows that I got for my camper are regular RV windows. The, the big door that I use is an RV baggage door, okay? Um, and then around back for my galley, the door below my galley, that is also an RV door. Uh, and, uh, um, and I got them all on eBay. And, and when I built my camper, I... Uh, um, I cash flowed it. You know, I didn't have a lot of money, um, so I had to wait and wait for the best deal. So I think I paid thirty dollars a piece for my windows. I paid sixty a piece uh, or sixty for my door, and then I think I paid thirty for the smaller baggage door that's in the back for my galley. But I got them on eBay. Just search RV RV window. Um, that's the best place to get them. Um, as far as what my camper is made out of, um, it's on a Harbor Freight trailer, and it's uh, it's uh, two by two construction and half inch plywood uh, all the way around. Um, and yes, uh, it does have bathroom facilities inside of it. So for the extent of the Q and A questions, I think it's how to contact me if you want to contact me, um, and the questions for uh, for for the camper. So. Um, I'm I'm more than willing to answer more questions if if you have them you you just gotta ask. So the main part of this video today uh, is going to be about um, what I have learned out here in the desert. Um, so you could call this a newbie's guide. Hang on, I gotta pull up my pull up my list on my phone. So, so you could call this a uh, list uh, from a newbie to newbies. Um, so first thing to keep in mind is that uh, um, there's dirt and dust everywhere and dirt and dust is going to get everywhere. So it's going to get in your rig, it's going to get in your vehicle, um, it's going to get on your clothes, it's going to get on all of your equipment. So be prepared for that. I was, I was surprisingly unprepared for the amount of dust um, that I found uh, out here. I mean, of course, I know it's dusty and sandy and everything else, but it just gets everywhere. People drive by and dust waves just fly through. So be prepared for that. It's going to happen. Dust happens. Deal with it. The next thing from a newbie, for the newbies, conserve power however you can. If you burn through all your solar power um, halfway through the night you're stuck so um, learn to if you're using solar power and you've got a small system 
Charge the important things during the day when the sun is out. Charge your computer during the day. Charge your phones during the day. Uh, if you've got to go to town, plug in your phone to your cigarette lighter in your car and charge it while you're driving down the road. But uh, um, you've got to learn to conserve your power. What I do is I have a couple of little small battery packs. One of them is a jumper pack that I've shown before um, that, uh, um, that I can jump start a vehicle with, but I can also charge my accessories and my phone and things like that. So I have that and I have a smaller one and I charge those up during the day so I don't have to go through my solar power at, at night. So my battery bank um, my house battery bank for my for my little RV camper uh, can be used to run my TV, uh, which we're getting no channels out here. That's I need to complain to somebody about that. Um, uh, and my fan. So the fan is important um, if it gets hot during the night, uh, and the TV is kind of important. So um, there goes Tina from uh, ZenQuest Journey. So. Uh, I'm going to uh, interview her for another video later on, so you can you can check her out later. The next bit of advice I could give from a newbie to newbies is um, you hear about tribe out here. Um, tribe means lots of things to lots of different people. Uh, if you're going to be part of a tribe, that's great. I have a group of people that I'm hanging out with. I'm joining their company, um, and we all kind of contribute. Um, so if you're if you're going to be part of a tribe, be part of the tribe and don't be a mooch. Um, contribute. If cook dinner, if everybody, if someone else cooks dinner one night, you cook dinner the next night. If you're going to town and you got to pick something up for yourself, pick something up for them because they've probably picked up something from you. You would be surprised the amount of people that I've seen so far that uh, that don't want to be part of a tribe. They just want to be a mooch. And, uh, and that's no good for anybody. Um, not everybody out here is like this. A very small percentage is like that. But, but all they want to do is take advantage of. And I've had to shoo people away from me because, because uh, I'm not going to constantly feed somebody um, my food. So um, give them my water um, when, when they don't ever reciprocate. So, you know, that's part of being a tribe is, is everybody works together. And it's not one big huge tribe. There are there are it's little groups of five or six or seven people, um, and there's just a whole bunch of them out here in the desert. So you know, if one tribe uh, doesn't work for you, you know, go find another group of friends. Now that leads into kind of the next thing that that uh, I really feel like needs to be said is that if you're going to come out here, be prepared be self-sufficient. Now what I mean by that is don't come out here with nothing more than a tent and a bicycle and expect to, uh, to uh, be able to get along. Um, if you come out here unprepared thinking everyone else is going to take care of you, you're going to have a bad time of it. Um, if you're going to come out here, you need to be able to carry your own water, transport yourself, cook your own food, because your tribe may pick up and have to leave and go separ their separate ways and then you're stuck. So that's something else I've seen out here is, is people that were unprepared. And I don't mean, well, they just didn't realize that they needed to pick up a few more things. They literally came out here because, because they thought that someone else would just take care of them. Or they came out here just because they thought this was going to be a swap meet uh, and they just wanted to sell things to people. So they had a bunch of junk they were trying to peddle. Um, that's not what an event like this is, the van build party is about for sure. But if you don't have the mental capacity to be able to deal with a night alone by yourself, um, maybe you need to reconsider if you're going to come out here. Um, if you come out here with, with no way to take care of yourself, maybe you should reconsider. I know Bob Wells says, come on out here, you can do it, everybody can do it. Well, they can't. If you come out here and you're unprepared, um, the desert will uh, will swamp you. So I don't want to discourage anyone from coming out and enjoying this type of lifestyle. Um, but if you're not prepared, 
and you don't have the means to take care of yourself, you're just going to be a detriment to the entire tribe and the entire community. Make sure you can take care of yourself. Next thing to keep in mind, always, always wear a hat. Even when the wind's blowing and the uh, humidity out here is low, um, the sun's still shining down. And, uh, you know, I'm getting kind of a nice tan, which is nice, and my face is getting tan, but from here up is not tan. Um, and it's because I'm wearing a hat. The one or two days that I have not worn a hat, I've paid for it. You can just about give yourself heat stroke, and that's no fun. So wear a hat. And last thing that I could tell everyone is that uh, they always need to carry a water container with them um, in your vehicle. If you're going to town, always. <coughs> I just ate dust. I told you there's dust everywhere. Always carry a water container with you that's empty, so when you run to town, you can stop and you can get some water. Um, I carry a five-gallon collapsible in my truck with me all the time, so if I'm running to town, hey, I can stop and spend a buck and get five gallons of water. I may not need it right now, but I'm going to need it eventually, or some of the people I'm hanging out with might need it. So, so always carry a spare water container with you, so if you get a chance to get water, get your water, okay? That's about all I've got right now. Uh, oh, today is the Monday before Thanksgiving, and uh, uh, Banville party still going great. Um, the new location, I really like it. Again, I don't get good cell phone coverage, and I get no TV channels. But other than that, um, this this location is really nice. Um, and uh, that's about all I've got. I hope my list has been helpful, um, and. Uh, and I hope you take everything that I said the right way and don't take me being ugly. But, you know, I, I like to call it the way I see it. So, there's my list. And there's the little Q&A answers uh, for everybody. And uh, I appreciate you watching. All the new subscribers, thank you guys for watching. Um, thanks for the comments. Um, you know, when you guys comment on things, it helps me focus in on, on uh, my next video or what you guys want to see um, or what you like or don't like. I really appreciate that. So, from me to you, thank you guys very much, and I'll see you on the next video. Hi, I'm Neil, Trample Amputee, who loves to ride motorcycles, train some jujitsu, and travel in my, all across the country in my teardrop camper. I really appreciate you watching my video, and if you liked it, if you don't care, give it a thumbs up. If you want to, you can subscribe right down here. Check out a few other of my videos. I've written a few books, so if you want to check those out, they're right down here. See you on the next video.